Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey everybody, I hope you're having a blessed day today. I'm Chris, the youth coordinator at the Parker campus. I get to help continue the narrative of Jesus's childhood in Matthew chapter two, verses 19 through 23, which says this. But when Herod died, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt saying, rise, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the child's life are dead. And he rose and took the child and his mother and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. And being warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee. And he went and lived in a city called Nazareth, so that what was spoken by the prophets might be fulfilled, that he would be called a Nazarene. This piece of scripture may seem like one that would be easy to overlook when reading through the story of Jesus' birth and childhood. The reason why is because of all of the events that took place in the beginning of the story, such as Jesus' mother Mary becoming pregnant with Jesus as a virgin, the wise men, the giant star that led them to Jesus, the shepherds, Jesus being born in a barn, etc. Even though it may seem like this portion of scripture at the end of chapter 2 is just another simple part of the narrative, it's actually so much more than that. This piece of scripture fulfills prophecies about Jesus being the Messiah. It says in verse 23 that there was a prophecy told by prophets that the Messiah would be a Nazarene. God made sure that Jesus didn't die, and he made sure that the prophecies that were told about Jesus were fulfilled throughout this section. God did this by communicating with Joseph through different warnings and instructions on what to do in dreams. Even though we live in a fallen and broken world, God ensured that his plan was fulfilled up to the last detail. Man, I wish God would give me dreams that had exact instructions on what I should do with my life. That would be really nice. Even though God doesn't always tell us exactly what's going to happen, and he doesn't always tell us exactly what to do through dreams, he did give Christians the Holy Spirit to help us discern what to do in situations, and he also has a plan for each of us for our own good. We need to trust that. Imagine if Joseph hadn't listened to the dreams God had given him. That would have ended badly for all of us. A couple of ways that you can hear direction from the Holy Spirit is by praying and by reading the Bible. Start there. I encourage you today to give up the plan you have for your own life, to give it to God and to trust him and to be obedient to the Holy Spirit's discernment this week. If you aren't a Christian and you don't have the direction of the Holy Spirit, you can make that decision to follow Jesus today. Believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He came back to life three days later that he is your savior and ask him to forgive you of your sins. Have a blessed day.